And welcome to 32 News at 9. They say memories are made during the College World Series, and sometimes fans have to pay an arm and a leg to make them. First on Fox, police are setting a cap on how much you can resell tickets for. Fox 42's Maureen Wirtz shows us what they're doing to stop, to stop scalpers from ripping you off. Anybody need tickets? It's the business of buying and selling. And I help the fans that have the extra tickets, get them sold, get them into the people that would want to be into the good seats. Whether it's a pair of tickets or a whole handful. Anybody need tickets, general admission tickets. Scalpers like John Keller say everyone gets paid. Come up to me and I'll give you tickets for regular price at the most. Scalpers cannot resell tickets anywhere on TV Ameritrade property, but just across the street they can, but for no more than face value. I hate to see fans that walk up to me and said, how much are your tickets? And I said, regular price. And they said, we just paid $100 each for them down the road. Scalpers cannot resell tickets over face value within a half a mile of TD Ameritrade. If someone's caught, you know, their tickets are being scalped and stuff, the NCAA could pull their ticket privileges. Some say the best deals aren't at the box office. Every once in a while we keep walking down to the stadium and if it's a scalper gives us a good deal, we buy them. Otherwise, we buy them at the general admission. Even though you can't see them in uniform, Omaha police say they have undercover officers making sure there are no shady sales outside the stadium. Hopefully they're out here and around, you know, keeping everybody honest. Keeping tickets in the hands of fans. Does anyone have extras they want to sell? and prices within reach. Maureen Wirtz, Fox 42 News. Now the only way to know for sure that your ticket is valid is to buy it through the box office. We have a list of the face value of tickets for each game on our website. Just go to kptm.com and click on this story. OPD arrested three men for scalping yesterday. Jalal Spearman, Jameson Batters, and Vinton Lowry were all arrested outside TD Ameritrade Park. Police say undercover officers were offered tickets for as much as double their value. Police say Batters had pocketed nearly $1,000 in cash. A seven-year-old...